Our team coverage continues with Fox 23's Naomi Kitt. She is live with an update on how those six people taken to the hospital are doing right now. So I did just get a chance to talk with firefighters. They are still in the hospital this morning. We're learning three of them probably in serious condition today. If you take a look at this building, this is the opposite side from where Fox 23's JJ Burton is this morning. It does look like a couple of people are coming out of one of those units, taking a couple of supplies, but we know that all of the people who live in this building have been displaced, so they probably are taking everything that they need because they won't be able to get back in this building today. You can see just a couple of firefighters still on scene. We've learned that they're out here managing hot spots in the area, also assisting fire investigators who are out here trying to see exactly what happened this morning. We did learn that there was five people in one of these buildings, a mother and several children. We're, learned, we're learning one of those children was also a teenager, all of them inside this morning. They had to be taken removed from that house with a ladder. Firefighters were out here doing that. They also were able to work on all of those, all five of those people that were inside the apartment, along with another man who was already outside of these apartments earlier this morning. So firefighters will be out here for a while, but the scene is a lot quieter than it was when we got out here at 430 in the morning. We are staying out here, staying in touch with officials. I'm going to try to talk with some of these people who are moving things from their apartments. We'll check back in with you all in the next half hour. Reporting live covering news that matters. I'm Naomi Kitt, Fox 23 News.